Now, when you are not playing, when you're in set mode, six go like that. Okay? Right here. And you want to have it at a level where your pinky is touching the rim. So like that. About that. Okay? Now, let me go into detail. All it is, your right hand is like that. Don't put your thumb here, don't put your thumb underneath. Put it on the side. Just one stick out over the other. Your right hand is in the front here. When you're holding it out like this, right stick is in the front. And your left stick is in the back. You want to make sure that your beads, the, bead, the tips of your sticks, the beads, are even with the end of the other stick. So, like that. Don't make it like that. Don't make it like that. Make it like that. Okay? Make sure it's like that. Okay? So you're in. And then you're out. In. And with your left hand, your thumb goes over. And virtually what it is you take when you have your traditional grip. You take it and you just go boop. Move these fingers out of the way. And then bring it in there. And then grip again. So see, you yeah, have if you're playing on you as you're moving in, you let go, bring it in, and then grip it again. Okay? Now, if you're playing with a group of people, drum line, you know, obviously something like that, your section leader or somebody will be tapping off. Tap off at the start of an exercise or a song or whatever. This is a tap off. This is a standard tap off. I'm gonna have a tempo. They might do something like this, tap their sticks together to get the tempo in their head. That's a standard tap off. Okay? And it'll vary. They might do a cool little lick instead of a tap off when you're doing a cadence or whatever. Okay? So, you bring your sticks out at a specific time. You bring it out on count three. So, it'd be one, two, out, and Ready? I'll do it again. One, two, one, two, out, four, and. One, two, one, two, three, and four, and one. Bring it out on three. One, two, one, two, out, and three, and one. Sorry about that. That three that I counted, make that a four. So it'll be one, two, one, two, out, and four, and one. So it'd be da 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 Okay. Now, in, going in. You go in. Now this can vary um, between who you're playing with, your school, drum corps, whatever. Uh, the standard is usually coming in on the and count or the two count. So you hit your last note, one, and. Or one and two. But it's usually and, so go with and. 
unless told otherwise, go in on and. So, I'm, t I'm going with and. So, you're out. So, I'll go, I'll go through the whole thing. Out and then in. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tap off with my mouth. I'm going to go da 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 I'm going to do that with my mouth. And I'm going to put my sticks out. So, and then I'm going to play one note and then go back in. Okay? One note and then back in, okay? So, da 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 Yes. So, one more time. Da 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 one and okay one more time just for good luck da 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 one and okay now so just a few things um number one Play with the fulcrum. Grip the fulcrum. Use your wrist at higher heights. Use your fingers at lower heights. When you're bringing your, when you have your sticks out, they should be at a 90 degree angle, and two finger widths uh, up from the rim. Uh, the bead should always be together in the center, and um, just above the head. And you bring your sticks out on three, you bring your sticks back in on and, unless told otherwise. Okay? Out on three, back in on and. So, before I go, just a few closing remarks. So, we went over the fulcrum, playing position and going out and in with their sticks. I know this is a pretty long video, um, but this is, this is important. This is the important stuff. Um, so this is probably one of the most important videos I'll ever make. Um, so put this, put this at the top of importance. This is five stars of importance. So um, that's the end of this video. Um, you should probably watch this one more than once. Um, and when I'm, when I'm tapping off and I'm going out and in, um, play along. Do it yourself. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, that's what I recommend. Um, so I'll see you in the next video. Um, make sure to tell the people about these videos. Um, who, whoever's interested in learning how to play marching snare, um, uh, or rudimental drumming, um, is actually pretty, pretty handy. Some of the stuff I'll be, I'll be going over, the, uh, pretty handy for drum set playing too. You can take some of the information that I give and transfer it to drum set playing. It'll be, uh, a pretty good drum set player. Um, so... Um, yeah, come back for the next video, and, uh, see you later.